top of the big first climb. There's surveyors. And now we are descending. Keep it on going to Black Hill. Black Cow Hill. At the end of the last cut block to 12 and a half kilometers, two hours, 45 minutes, 500 meters. So now we're dropping down to the creek, crossing it and heading towards the camp we stayed at last year. We're in the creek and this is the continuation of the road up here and the blowout section. You just came out just around the bend there. Super low water. So we're on Black Cow Ascent and we started seeing fresh cuts out the trail. These weren't here when I did the three point loop. I think that was in 2021. So we're hoping that <laughs> That this actually goes if someone took the time to start chopping. And there's Upper Three Point Creek way down there. Oh, that trail was good for about 500 meters. And it seemed to just end in a boggy area, so maybe we lost it. But it was really good. Now we're just going through open forest. It's quite steep coming through here. Oh, we just broke the first tree line. We're in the mid meadow. And we're looking towards Bandit and Outlaw. And we're about to get better views of other stuff. So we still have to go up. There's the top of Black Cow. So we just gotta navigate around some of those cliff bands there. And then looking this way, we got banded right there and then outlaw is right there cornwall glasgow a high peak cool place and now we're at the high point of black cow and coming up from the north face our scats are 18 kilometers, 1100 meters, five hours. And we're at 3.6 kilometers an hour. So way down there, Three Point Canyon. Forget me not, look out. And Three Point, Rose and Blue Rock from the North Pole. Looking back at the summit, and we are descending into the trees to find the road, which we probably won't find for quite a while, and we will push bash until the road picks up again in that midfield. So maybe we'll get lucky and run across it. Okay, we are descending off the top and mostly open-ish. We just got a weave. So just following the line that I had randomly drawn. And good luck finding a road through here until we know where it starts. Farther down. I'm not optimistic we'll come across anything. <laughs> All right, we ended up on the road. And now we're going to ascend it just to track the original trail, because why not? I'm not coming back here, so we may as well see how far we are actually off and get the proper trail mapped.
We probably walked about 150 meters or so and the good trail just ended. There's no semblance of where it continues. So since we're since we were going down, I'm just gonna turn around and didn't find much. So we're after the meadow on the descent, and this is what the road looks like. So definitely defined, but tons of overgrowth. There's a decent uh, slot track through it though. Uh, back at the bikes, it was an uneventful day, went as planned. Not sure if it's four ticks or five ticks, but it's definitely one of those two. Mm, easy bushwhack and nothing was awful. Would have been better rated if we biked more. A lot of biking, but still hard pushing up the passes. Tiring ish. So, pretty okay day. We descended the Cockerton corkscrew and not a tick rating, but it got nine out of 10 stars, which means very, very good. Just a little bit of overgrowth, slapping your knuckles, but uh, no walking on the descent, all riding. Good to go. Doesn't change the tick rating of the trip because that was just a alternate event. We're out.